Good evening and welcome to Steve's Tank Tips. Uh, we've got another episode coming up here and this time we're talking about the new Henlong version 6.0 smoke unit. As you can see here, it's a lot smaller than the old um, versions that had the, uh, the pump, as you can see. There's one alongside it. What's, it's, yeah, yeah, smaller. Um, as you can see, it's got a separate little fan. Yeah. Uh, the heat, the heating uh, housing looks pretty much identical, apart from a couple of little tabs on to mount it and screw it. But internally, it is different. I don't know if any of you saw my little write-up that I did. The heating element now, instead of that really thin hair-like wire wrapped around that um, piece of what looked like cotton uh, with a with a separate wick over the top, is now um, like a vape type coil, which is like a coi um, wire coiled. Uh, which is attached directly to these uh, wires and it's surrounded with a tube of what looks like uh, the fiberglass or Kevlar and that touches directly on um, a big wad of cotton wool which almost completely fills this chamber um, so you could probably carry quite a bit of uh, the smoke oil in there without it running out um, as for uh, the amount of smoke it can produce because it's, the space is all taken up, it probably just probably might, might just come straight out. I'm not sure. As you can see, two sets of wires, cables, connectors. That's to enable you to connect them separately to the ports on the new Henglong boards. So I'm presuming that the, the heater will come on first. And then when the engine starts, the fan will start. And the, the fan will obviously be... Um, uh, proportional so the faster the engine revs the faster the motor spins and blows it out obviously with a fan you do get a constant stream of smoke which is not ideal really in my view my personal opinion uh, engines don't pump out a continuous uniform uh, stream of smoke the the pulse with the engine revs um, <clears throat> so yeah, the one thing I do like about this little unit though is there's a couple of different options you can do with it. So if you wanted to use this on one of the older um, hang long uh, boards or a Targum V6 board that's only got the one output for the, uh, the smoker, you could purchase or take off one of your old spare ones of these boards off your old smoker or buy one off David Forsberg, I think they're only 99p, something like that and wire them up thus like this one it well it's all been cut off but you get the idea and you could solder the cables together and then have the uh have the the cable with the connector coming off the board and you could plug it all in together on one output another thing you can do it will with a bit of a little tug come off the stub so as you can see there's like a a mounting hole with a flat spot there so it, it won't rotate and it goes into the stub there. Um, I'll just show you in a sec what a couple of the different other options you can do. So here we are. So we've still got the fan attached. <coughs> Excuse me. But I've added a tube to it. Now you're probably thinking, well, why would you want to do that? Well, in my um, <coughs> Christine Ludwig Matilda, there's very limited space for bits like this I've been tried making my own little smokers I'll go into that in a bit which is a different option but this this way I can uh, I still have the fan attached but you can have it attached remotely in a different spot you can also rotate it so it's on its side so it'll fit in a slightly tighter space if, it, if the width of the gap is narrower um, so you, you, you can make it shorter or longer and it'll still work um, you could have this at the front, you could have this at the front in between your gearboxes and say like on the Sherman over there, do excuse the mess, it's a bloody ticking here. Um, and you could have the box at the back. So yeah, you've got options there, so you can you can make that as long as as short as you want and it'll still work and it still forces the, the smoke out. That's that's the second option you can use. Now as we can see here, here's the third option. I don't know if any, many of you are aware of um, acoustic smokers. That's where instead of a fan or a pump, if you've got a big speaker box like this, you can attach your heater to it via a tube, varying lengths, or, or you could just place it 
right next to where the hole is in the box and have the hole corresponding here with a bit of a gap that will still work and the pressure waves from the speaker force the smoke out of the air in, in, in pulses so as the engine's revving <clears throat> instead of a constant stream like I was talking before it comes out in pulses which looks more realistic now depending on the length of the tube or, or, or how close you've got the smoker to the speaker um, it does tend to work better without a tube you can do that without a tube if you've got space to put this next to the speaker with a small gap between it and you've got the holes corresponding right next to each other it, that seems to work better for some reason and you get more of a puff in um, when I tested it in my Matilda when the engine's ticking over you'll get slight puffs of uh, as the engine's uh, ticking over and then when you rev the engine up vroom, you get smoke billowing out um, with this system here with the tube it doesn't work quite as as, as well but when I, then again how much does a, an exhaust actually smoke on a tank? They're usually only very smoky when they first start, when they're spluttery and they're, they're cold, but once it's uh, started, then, you know, they, they're not that smoky. So just bear with me, and uh, we'll, I'll give you a demonstration to show you how this works. Okay, so we're at, so I'm going to start the engine up. Right, track, left clip of Sharma Road. We're having a point with Rommel to keep. Also work if you had it connected to a machine gun. Or a gun barrel. So there you have it. So it does work. Some, pe some people uh, like more smoke. Uh, to be honest, if you want it realistic, you don't want to be going too mad. It's nice to have um, quite a lot of smoke when it first starts up, but like any, any engine, it would uh, calm down after a bit. Um, like I say, I've tried using just one of these smokers off an older um, Henglong um, smoking unit, like this one here. I've cut off and I've placed it right opposite the um, here and it works perfectly. So I hope that's uh, helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, good evening.